giving you a call. Uh, I'm sure you're aware that we're coming by tomorrow, and, and uh, we great. first of all, I wanted to say thank you for being a part of, um, of this adoption thing for black history. We really greatly appreciate what you're doing. We want you to know that we um, have you scheduled tomorrow that we're going to drop two Caucasian kids off uh, at your household. And, uh, hello? You're going to drop them off at my house? Right, right. Uh, are, are you familiar with what's going on with colorful no. adoptions? Uh, no. You're, okay, let me, well, wait a minute, hang on. You, your name has been submitted to us that you are volunteering to take in two Caucasian kids here during Black History Month, and you're going to teach them as much as you can about black history for a week. They're going to be with you for seven days. Uh, how many rooms do you have in your apartment so we can make sure that the kids have adequate space? Okay, can you tell me who submitted my name? Uh, Ma'am, can you tell me, uh, do you guys have a back door so that, you know, there's an, as an a access uh, okay, and front where are you entrance and back from again? entrance? I'm sorry? Where are you calling from again? I am calling from <laughs> adoptions. But I, what okay. I do need to know is I do need to know, will the kids have transportation? Do you have a vehicle? That is definitely yours. No, the, that... kid, the kids won't have transportation. I'm sorry. You're asking me. No. Who are you again? And... My, my name is Kadeem, ma'am. I'm calling for adoptions. Okay. And who submitted my who submitted my information? Ma'am, do you I have was... adequate space to accommodate the children? No. Who submitted my name to you to say that I was going to take two more? Two, two more. Ma'am, I'm asking you, do you have adequate space and do you are you going to be having enough food to, you know, for the food, for the kids to no, be... I know, uh, because I have three children I'm trying to feed these three over here. And no, I don't have enough food to feed two more children. Now, you're calling me, and who gave you my information? Ma'am, I'm going to ask you another time. How many bedrooms do you have in your apartment unit so we can make sure that the, sh the kids are accommodated pr uh, properly? No, no, don't bring any kids to my house. I don't, I don't care, w no, what color they are and what you need. Who submitted my information to you? Okay, ma'am. Let me ask you something. How long have you how long have you been on your job? Okay. Um. What the? F I don't know. Hell no. I mean, you, your name has been submitted by. I don't care what you must say. That's not, I'm not interested. You know what will happen if you drop two kids off, two white kids off in my house? Uh, n no, ma'am, I don't. Oh no, we're not. No, that's okay. I don't have time. I work ten hours a day. I don't have time for that. You know, it's okay. You can drop your... You, you know what's going to happen to them if you drop them off? They're going to be right where you drop them off at when you come back to get them next week. Okay, okay, ma'am. Right I, 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 have you... Uh, somebody has submitted your name that you don't mind volunteering to take No, no, children. you can take them to the who submitted my name. Take them to that... I don't need them. Okay. I don't need them. I work 10 hours a day. Take them to whoever submitted... How about you take them? Ma'am, I work for the agency, ma'am. I'm, I'm here to... Try and get these kids a, a great place to get uh, educated. And... Oh, no, that's okay. I'm not even say no about it. No. No, thank you. And you have to tell, whoever told you this, take them, to, take them to that. I have three children of my own I'm taking care of. Who the will tell you that? Well, I, 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 I don't know uh, exactly who submitted your name. All I know is that they, they said that you would be good as far as taking care well, of you, children and, and teaching them about black history. Kids to them. Who told you this? Uh, Ma'am, I don't, you know, I, like I said, I'm, I'm working here at Adoptions, and I'm, I'm Yeah, I don't know, know the who you work for, and I have three kids of my own. I work 10 hours a day. That's the I'm teaching about Black History Month. Okay, I yeah. mean, is it, is, it, is it a problem teaching two more children and, and two Caucasian children who probably don't know as much about Black History? It is a problem. I work 10 hours a day. I got three I'm trying to feed on my own. What are you, what? You need to take them children to that who told you to bring them to me. How about that? Ma'am, I, I, I don't know. I'm not at liberty to give out the names on who exactly submitted your name. I want the name of the black who told you to bring some kids to my house. I don't even care about the kid's wife. Who? I want the name of the that told you that. That's what I, I want. I, I, Ma'am, I don't have their names in front of me. I don't. Who the told you to bring these two kids to my house. Ma'am, like I said, I don't know who told me that. All I know is we're scheduled to drop them off at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Oh, uh, what kind of man they from be out there when you come back to get them? I didn't sign up for any more kids. You, you, who the give me the name of the person who told you to bring me to my house? Ma'am, I don't have the name in front of me, and, and actually I'm not uh, at liberty to, to let you know who submitted your name.
All I know oh. is we're scheduled to drive two kids off at 10 o'clock tomorrow. Did you not hear what the f I've been asking you? How the f sign me up to bring two white kids? I don't even have a problem with the kids being white. They could be Mexican, Asian. That's not the point. Who the f gave you my name? I don't know who submitted your name. I don't know that. Oh, no. You got to know who gave you my information because they know nobody been to my house. All I know is, ma'am, I'm scheduled to bring those kids over there at 10 o'clock in the morning, okay? Oh, that's f Who the f told you that? Hey, don't bring no kids to my house. I don't even care if they white. Just don't bring two more kids to my house, period. Period. I will see you in the morning, Miss Valerie, okay? In the morning, I have one more thing I need to tell you about tomorrow. Are you listening? You. Are you listening? Yes, I'm listening. You say whatever the f you have to say to me right now. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your co-worker named Let's go, Cat Dog, apartment 316. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach Dale. Yeah, this is Dale. Hey, Dale, how you doing, man? My name is Vaughn, dude. Uh, you live in, uh, I'm trying to make sure I got the right dude, man. You live in court, right? Apartments? Yeah, I live in What's going on? Okay, you live in apartment uh 316, right? Yeah, is it something I need to be worried about? What's going on with my apartment? Oh, no, 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 everything cool with your apartment, man. Uh... I got your number from a uh, lady at the uh, at the leasing office. Regarding? Say so, so what now? What's it, what's it in regards to? Well, actually, what's going to happen is I'm going to move to the court. And what I wanted to do, you know, uh, see, man, every apartment I've always had, I've always lived in apartment 316. And I know you in 316. So, they, you know, the girl at the office gave me, you know, because I don't want to move nowhere else where I can't be in room 316. I got to be, you know, it's just real superstitious, I know, but I kind of, hey, I got to have a Hey, hold on. Uh, you say your name, Vaughn? Yeah, yeah, I'm Vaughn. right, Vaughn. And who gave you my number again? Uh, one of the ladies at the leasing office when I was over there. Who was it? Uh, I can't really remember her name, man. Uh, look, look, hey, look, man, look. hey, well, li listen, cut this shit. Man, I'm going to tell you like this, man. Don't call me for nothing like that, man. Now I ain't moving out of my apartment, man. I've been staying up for four years. When I move out to the apartment, I move in the house. You understand? All this you got going with your, with your, with your whatever it is, your 316, your 132, that's on you, man. No, it ain't, ain't 132. I got to stay in 316, man. See, that's, that's what I'm trying to say. I, I didn't find the lease, so I'm stuck with it. I got to get that apartment. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. Would you like to, which, which other apartment would you like to move to? And I go on and get them to move your stuff. You I'm, I'm right? moving nothing. Ain't, ain't nothing moving. Only thing I ain't gonna move is them numbers. You can add them up, divide them, do whatever you want to them, but I ain't moving. So you're gonna have to get that to your head, man. And really, I'm because I don't know who the gave you my number with like this. I'm at work and called me with I don't even know no Vaughn. No, nah, no, nah, you don't know me, dog. I, I asked them who was in 316. They told me. That ain't none of your business who in 316, man. Hey, listen, man. I'm trying to do this as respectful as possible. You know, like I said, I really can't function unless I'm living in a... Disrespect me then. Do a disrespect for then. Because I'm going to show do a disrespect. You call me with like this. I don't give a favorite. No, I don't care if that was your favorite scripture. Okay, hey, dog. call me with like that, man. See, now you're going to make this hard. Okay, so let me let me tell you this to you. I already told the lady I want to be in 316. She told me I needed to deal with Dale. Now, I'm trying to deal with you in a polite way, okay? Because like I say, I can't function, man, unless I'm in apartment 316. I can't I can't even get them to go to work. I cannot function, okay? I have to have that apartment number, dude. All right. So, it it sounds like you got a problem on your hands, man. Whatever your problem is, that's your problem. Ain't got to do with me. Don't call me no like that. Like I say, I've been staying in 316. I'm going to stay in 316 till I move to a house. You need to find something else to do. And really, I'm f***ed off at the that gave you my number to call me with this. I can't believe you. Hey, 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 first of all, let me say this to you. Like I don't this, like man. the way you're talking to, talking to me. First, and I, told you I don't I got like the way you come at me with that Come at me with a number. What the f*** 
I look like you, man. 316. What? Excuse me, dog? What you say? No, you calling me with this I tell you what, man. Come at me or come at my apartment with that and you gonna see it, man. You understand what I'm saying? Hey, man, I'm trying to handle this respectably, man. Okay? All right? That's what I'm trying to do. Say, listen to me. I'm trying to tell you honestly, dog. I cannot function outside of them three numbers. I have to live in apartment 316. That ain't my business, man. No, I don't want to have to come move your, your but I do it. Hold on. What's, oh, run that back. What you say? I said, I don't want to have to move I your to the <laughs> say that down. <laughs> Got me up. What you, you going to come move my I want, hey, matter of fact, come, yeah, come on. Come move 316. 316, I had to put for your Come on, man. Come on, come move my man. Come on. Two ten solid. Come on, move that. All kind of going on in the world, but no. I got three hundred six five days. Deal with this. I'm at work. You want? I'm on my nine to five, and you come at me about the three sixteen. I'm gonna whoop somebody. That's all I got to say, man. It's gonna be you. Before I, before I deal with you, though, I'm gonna get the lease now for even giving you my number. Hey, hey, man. I'm tr- I'm just trying to tell you. I have to stay under them numbers, man. I have to. I'm superstitious like that. I know I know everybody ain't like that, but I just happen to be like that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't like that, man. I ain't got time to be dealing with it. Yeah, really, everybody ain't got time to even sit up and listen like this. Man, you look up a Christian, man. Other than that, I've been out this job looking for what what apartment number did they give you? They gave me like three twenty nine or something like that. I don't I can't stay there, man. Yeah, that's where I'ma meet you at, man. Meet me at three twenty nine, six o'clock tonight. How about them numbers? Okay, okay. So how about these numbers right here? Eight seven seven twenty nine Steve. What that mean? Eight seven seven twenty nine Steve. Eight seven seven twenty nine C. You ain't never heard that number before? Yeah. What's in the, what the, I, it? What? It sounds familiar. That's the number to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Cause this is nephew Tommy, and you just got pranked by your coworker Linda. Abby, make that. It's it's it, it sounds crazy as hell. I was believing this for a second. Had me rolling. <laughs> You got me about to take off and go to the lease now. I'll be calling right now. Who you say got me now? Yo, ain't you got a coworker named Linda? Linda? Ain't this about Linda? Coming for Linda right now. <laughs> I wonder why the hell she taking so long. She put she on some man. God, y'all had me going though, man. Hey, Dale, I got one more thing to ask you, man. Dale, you at work for real, ain't you? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, man, what's the baddest radio show in the land, man? The Steve Harvey Morning Show. Cozy TV. Boogie snitching. Boogie snitching. Let's go, cat dog. Boogie snitching. Hello. Come on. Man, I speak to Boogie. Yeah, this Boogie. Hey, Boogie, this KB. Let me ask you something, man. How you get out of jail before Marcus got out of jail? How y'all go to jail at the same time, but you get out a month before him and he's still in there? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who is this? This KB, this Marcus' brother. Tell me how you get out of jail, but Marcus still in there, and you've been out over a month now. They hey, say hold you. Up, hold up, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, they say you snitching, buggy. Snitching. That's what's going on. You up in there snitching. Hold on, bro. Hold on. You slow, slow it down. Slow it down a little bit, man. Hold up. You know what? I really don't need to be having this conversation with you, but you coming at me like this. It's called bail. How it's you called, how you out called, how you out on bail? But Mark is still in there. Tell me that, buggy. Man, how you gonna call me with? You know what? You know what? I ain't finna trip with you, but you now. Nah, this hold on. Let me hold on. Let me pull those right. Yeah. All I know is they the one saying you the one that snitched on my brother, and that's why he's still in there, and you out. I don't know where you getting this from, but I'm going to tell you what. I had to go to work. I need to get the f- out of there. But you ain't you ain't hear me. I went to jail, too. Boogie, you going to mess around and get your ass whooped for snitching, man, because that's what you've been out there doing. Man, what, what the f*** is you talking about? You've been out there snitching. That's why you out and my brother Marcus is still in there. You, know, they- you know what? You know what? It's called bail, man. That's what it's called. It's called bail. I had to go to work. I don't know what you tripping on. All I'm tripping on is that the fact that you out and my brother ain't out. He's still in there. Dog, I'm going to tell you something. I'm looking for you, Boogie. 
You hear me? Yeah. I'm looking for you, yeah, man. You, but you, but you know, you know where I'm at. You know where. At. You know what? Since you, since you run around here like a little b- like he is, let me tell you what happened. Let me tell you what happened. All I want to do is go get me a, d- a beer. I jump in the car and then I was getting your mama some cigarettes. So how you coming at me like that? Okay. I jump you... in the car with him and them going to start blaze up one. I tell him, nah, dog, put that out. We just going around the corner. But then he go, he start putting it out in the car. He throw the shit out the window. Now we get pulled over. Hell yeah, I jumped out the car. He told the law, I don't got shit to do with this. Who was smoking? You or Marcus? I don't even smoke, dog. I had to go to work. I go to work. I, I can't deal with that. I told them dudes to put it out. Damn it. Laws pulled over. They searched the damn car. How the hell you going to be riding like that and laws pull you over? They pop open the trunk. You got a big ass speaker box there, back there with no damn wires on. How the hell you figure? I'm a snitch. It don't take no damn rock scientists to know you got some s back there. Hell yeah, I got out of there. Man, them s had me in that drinking water out of the toilet. That you. Man, don't come at me that like that. You you wanna come in, you know exactly where I'm at. So just cause they got you up in there drinking water out of the toilet, you're gonna come up and start snitching on everybody. You know what? You 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 sh- I had to go to work. Hell the, hell I used all my damn money trying to get out of there on some Oh, this can't be about you got to go to work. That can't be about you got to have some heart somewhere, dog. Coming at me like that. I was just going to the store. Can I say something to you, man? I want to look. Nah, you, you know what? You can't say, let, let me tell let me tell you, let me get you, shoot you something. Since you're going to be the middle man, let me shoot you a thing or two. Tell, tell your brother, just don't drop the soap. No, he ain't going to drop the soap. I'm going to oh, make yeah. sure, I'm oh, going to yeah, make, sure my, make sure my brother, no, 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 listen to me, No, nah, no, 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 I'm going to tell you, dog, and I'm going to tell you this. What you got to tell me? What you got to tell me? I'm going to tell your boss everything about you, and then you're going to lose your little damn job. Oh, no. It, it can't be. You can. Dog, no, you know what? What you, you stuttering for? Me. What you, you stuttering for? I can't believe you calling me with no shit like this. Just lose my number. Don't call me no more behind this. Let me say something to you right now, Boogie. What you got to say? This nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show, you just got pranked. <laughs> oh, oh man. Boogie, you f- do me like that, dog. You know this this ain't nothing to play with. This ain't this ain't nothing to really play with. It. All right, Boogie, man. I'm sorry, dog. You you okay, Boogie? No, no, no I am, dog. You know what? I, I listen to you. Man, you ain't supposed to do no bro like that, dog. We supposed to be real. You don't do me like that, man. I put, I put this dude on blast. Hey, hey, man, look here. Your boy, Shannon, he said he your best friend. Shannon is the one that put me up to this, dog. <laughs> man, you know what? Is that your boy? Is that your best friend, Shannon? Man, he, man why y'all do me like this? Yeah, I'm going to take care of Shannon. I got him. <laughs> man, y'all, I just know. <laughs> hey, let me ask you this. What is the baddest radio show in the land? Oh, man, the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> Dude, let's go, cat dog. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach Clarence. Uh, yeah, this is he. Clarence, how you doing, man? This is Robert, Robert. Uh, we were trying to get a schedule with you guys. Maybe we can swing through and uh, pick up little Clarence, I guess, around 6, if you guys are available around 6. Uh, okay, what do you mean, picking up little Clarence? Well, we got the um, we got the call that we can come and actually pick up Clarence and 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 take him with us. Have you guys packed his things up yet? Whoa, 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 wait, man! Got the call from who that you can come pick him up? I don't know nothing about this. Well, my name is Robert, Robert, and my wife and I got the call that we could. Do you not know about us uh, um, uh, uh, adopting little Clarence? Oh, what the f- adopting who? Oh, okay, wait a minute. Are, are you guys at Are you guys at f- drive? Uh, yeah, that's m- that's my address. But uh, and, well, and, what you talking about? You gonna come take my son from me? Yeah, okay, I, but you, you, your son is two years old, right? Yeah, he's two. What they got okay, to do with you coming to pick up my son? And what is this agency's number? Uh, well, the, the agency told us that what the <laughs> adoption agency? They've got all our information. We've we've filled out all the paperwork, and you you guys aren't aware that that we're supposed to come there today to pick him up. Hell no! What what adoption agency you said this was? How to get my information? I'm not sure. We we've got 
uh, pictures of clearance and oh. and oh, yeah. uh, you know my wife is actually going out and bought balloons and everything and 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 we were gonna come through. They told us any time today, so we felt maybe like around six p.m. we'd come get it. Well, no, you ain't coming here to pick up no clearance. I'm tell you that right now. Okay, okay, wait, wait a minute now. Uh, this this this. I mean, this can't be happening. I, 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 okay, wait a minute. Oh, oh, what's happening? You're you're, you're 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 Clarence Senior, correct? Yes, I am. And you don't know anything about us to come over there to pick the baby up? Hell no, I don't know nothing about this. See, what's the name of this place again? Uh, adoption agents. Who gave you my information and how they get my information to come pick up my son? I, I don't know that, sir. All I know is is uh, we've bought a car seat. We're, we're, you know, my wife has bought balloons. Man, I don't care y'all bought a car seat, balloons, high chair, whatever. You ain't coming to get my son. Okay, sir. I, I mean, what, what I'm not going to do is, is, is tell my wife that we're not coming to get Clarence Jr. today. Oh, yeah, y'all, you're going to have to tell her that because you ain't coming here to pick up my son. Sir, from, with the paperwork that I have, Clarence is actually my son now. Man, f- you and your paperwork. You ain't coming here to pick up my son. Sir, Clarence Jr. is mine. I'm actually going to change his name to Robert. So, yeah, I, I mean, I, like, like here you are. Come on over here if you want to. Come on over here. I'm waiting for you. I'm standing in the driveway right now. Okay, well, wait a minute. Now, the, the, the adoption agency tells us that you guys are not doing well finance, uh, financial. Are you working? No, I ain't working. What the they got to do with anything? I ain't gonna get rid of my son just because I ain't working. Okay, but 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 uh, uh, so in other words, you're not you're not able to to provide for him, from what I understand. Man, my son ain't missed no meal. He got clothes on his back. He got a roof over his head. Man, I'm not. You ain't coming here to pick up my son. I don't care what I got to do, man. I go out cut grasses. I make money on the side washing cars and everything. Okay, okay, he's about but to come here and get my son. But don't you think he deserves a better home? I don't know what the what the screw up is. I don't know, but I'm trying to at least rationalize with you man. so you can understand why me and man, my wife. I rationalize with you. You ain't coming to get my son. He in a good home right now. I love my son. You ain't taking him nowhere. I'm telling you, I'm right here in the driveway. Come on over here. Sir, I don't want to go back and forth, but I am. me and my wife are coming to get Clarence today. Uh, okay, come on. Come on. I'm waiting for you. I'm already told you about two, three times. Come on, I'll be waiting right here. I guarantee you. Sir, sir I don't want any altercations when I get there. I just want Clarence to get in the car, and me and my wife are going to take him to his new home. When you, when you get here, it's going to be one hell of an altercation, so you might want to come to law, whoever's going to come with you. Bring the adoption agent, too, so I can whoop that too. You know what, man? If you was to be able to provide for your family, wouldn't nobody be trying to adopt your child? The problem is, is that you can't take care of your family. Now, me and my wife coming over there, and we coming to get Clarence Jr. Oh, you ain't coming down here to get my child. Man, you get down here, I'm going to you and your wife up. How about that? Oh, no, wait a minute. Wait, well, you going to do what to my wife? Well, I don't hear women, but I'm going to tell you right now. You and your wife going to come down here. I'm going to help both of you. Anybody come down here try to take my child up out of my house, they going to get up. I'm coming to get it. Man. I got to do what I got to Man, do. I'm going to tell you right now, you ain't coming down here to get my son. You, your wife, I'm telling you, nobody's going to come here and take I'm my son. I'm not going to disappoint my wife. You got my me. number. I don't know how you got my address. I don't care what the agency you got going through or whatever going on. But I'm telling you right now, you come down here, I'm going to call y'all up. I'm, I'm not going to disappoint my wife. Now, she I think we I coming mean, to get this. I don't give a f***ing disappoint whoever you want this point. I don't give a about that right now, but you ain't about to take my son up out the house. I'm going to come and get him out that house, and I done told my wife I was coming to man, get him. Man, I'm telling you, man, you better tell your wife, you come in this driveway, I'm going to be sitting right here waiting for you, and I'm going to the last one of y'all up. Every last one of y'all, I don't care who you bring, you can bring Obama, and I'm going to f*** you. You ain't finna do nothing, you ain't finna do, you ain't finna try to take my son out of the house, I'm going to tell you right now, everybody getting f***ed. Yeah, I, 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 all I'm going to do is let you know this. I'm coming to get Clarence Jr. Well, you, well, to you ain't got nothing to tell me or let me know. I'm letting you know right now. You better come here with the corner and everybody, because I'm about to you up. You're going to leave here with a and your come over here and take my stuff. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You get his clothes what together so to he can come and me. live a better life. He's not living a good life there. You get his yes, clothes. Man, I told you about six, seven, eight times. Bring your mother down here and I'm you and everybody, whoever you bring down here, up, you try to take my you, you you know who else I'm bringing with me? Because I'm bringing somebody well, else well, with me. You, you better bring an army. Say what? It better be a f- army to come down here and get my son about this house. Uh, uh, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm bringing nephew Tommy with me. You bring who? I'm, I'm, br- <laughs> I'm bringing nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show with me. <laughs> oh, man. You serious? This is Tommy, man. This is nephew Tommy.
man. Woo! Woo, man. I'm about to up everybody out here. Man, come down here taking my shit. Your shoe. brother named Benjamin got me to get you, dog. Oh, man. See, that's how family gets up. See, next time I see him, it's on. <laughs> Man, that, that was a good one there. Oh, that man. All right, Paul. Tell me one more thing, man. What's the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> Cozy, Cozy TV. Calvin done lost his mind. Come on, cat dog. Hello. Hello, I'm trying to reach a Bree, please. This is Bree. Hi, Bree. This is Officer from the Dallas Police Department. Yes. Okay, wanted to give you a call, ma'am. We have your husband, Mr. Calvin. Uh-huh. Is there any way you can actually come down to the police station today? Um, are you sure it's my husband, Calvin? Is he Calvin? Yes, that's my husband. Okay, we have Calvin. He's been picked up for a Class C misdemeanor. And uh-huh. I, and I wanted to see if you're uh, able to pick him up. We're not going to press charges. There is a... $250 fine that needs to be paid, but we I'm giving you a call. He asked me to call his wife to see if you would actually come and pick him up. So is the $250 fine due as soon as I get there? Uh, yes, we do need the $250 fine. Oh, okay, Lord, because I don't, I don't have it. I'm going to have to call his mom and get it. But what is he there for? Uh, he was in decent exposure, ma'am. He was in a park. Are you familiar with Lakeside Park? Yeah. Okay, he was out at Lakeside Park, and he was in decent exposure. He had no clothes on. He was with another person, uh, another uh, female out there, and they had no clothes on. Wait a minute. Hold the hell up. You, you, you uh, are making a big mistake because Calvin is supposed to be at work. That's what the hell Calvin's supposed to be, not at a park. So you saying that you saw him. Were you the detective that called him? I'm not the, uh, it's not a detective. There was actually a police officer, ma'am, that actually brought them in. They both were brought in here um, about two hours ago. He's been processed. Huh. He has been processed, but we need somebody to actually come pick him up now. Okay, and, and, okay. Just give, okay, well, tell me, um, what is the, who is the female, what's the female name? Did y'all arrest her, too? Uh, Did she, she die with him? She has been arrested. She's actually on the other side of the uh, jail. She's on the woman, women's oh. side. Okay, can you give me that name? I do not have, have her name in front of me. I will be able to have that a little later. Or, um, but right now, I think more importantly, he's he's actually sitting in a holding tank with not with no clothes on. So I wait a minute. I, I mean, Calvin then lost his god mind. I'm not coming to pick him up for no day. Let me tell you what you need to be telling Calvin. You need to tell Calvin that he need to come up with two hundred and fifty dollars to get his out there. Just got himself in, and then he need to come up with some more money to pay for this divorce. Cause I'm handing him these papers, and you tell him, y'all, y'all do it for him. I'm gonna call his mama, and she can come get his. I know well, Kevin have his fat. No, walk this clothes down. Now where he get this old freak, freak from? I, um, they found all they got to see that you know that's what they taking now. Uh, uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna call his mama, and I'm gonna tell she ain't gonna believe me, cause I wanted to bring her. Down there. She always on his side, you see. She always on his side. So I want to take her on up there and see her son with his ass up there naked. And then, and, and then she can she let him explain that. Yeah, but he got to tell him, you tell Kevin, you, tell him, you make sure you tell him that I said that he get himself out of this situation. I'm not coming to get his and he ain't bringing his back here. Let him bring his back up here if he wants to. Okay, uh, uh, Miss, Miss Bree? Yes. All right, I just got some paperwork in here uh, about who the actual female he he was uh, arrested with. She was also out there at Lakeside Park. And uh-huh. uh, let's see here. It seems like we Ooh. got a Miss Francis. Francis. Uh, uh, Francis. 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 You sure you found a Francis out there naked? Yes, ma'am. Are you? I'm sorry. Do you know a Francis? Yes, I know Francis. That's my sister. <laughs> okay. Well, can I say something else about your sister? Can I tell you this? Go ahead. Francis has got me to prank phone call you, baby. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Bree, you just got pranked by your sister Francis. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, 
Lord Jesus. <laughs> if I tell you what I just have done on this phone, I can't tell you the radio. But Bob Francis, I was getting ready to come up there and knock all four eyes out. And I know damn well Kevin wasn't up there naked. I mean, he's not doing it like that. I mean, they don't even really get along. I mean, I'm like, is that what that's all about? Really? <laughs> Excuse me. I ain't got time for all this. I'm going to get you answers. Thank you, though. <laughs> hey, hey, can I ask you something, Bree, baby? What's What's the baddest radio show in the land? Oh, the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hello? Uh, I'm trying to... Charles? I'm looking for a Charles. Yeah, this Charlie. I'm, I'm sorry, this who now? This Charlie. How can I help you? Hey, listen, um, I, I'm... You by... I'm, who am I speaking? Um, I'm house sitting for Rita. She, y'all oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. She told me she was going out of town. What can I do for you, brother? Uh, how far y'all down the way, man? Yeah, I'm in the house. Four or five houses? Yeah, I think, uh, let's see. Yeah, we four houses down. Okay. Now, she left me a number, man. Left me y'all number, and then she left Miss Doris number. I tried to call Miss Doris, but then nobody answered the phone. Yeah, she normally in church around this time. Rita said she was going to be gone for a minute, so you, you say you down there? Right, right, right. And she told me if I got an emergency or anything that I could reach out to y'all and call y'all. Right, right, right. Okay, are you are you busy right now, man? Well, actually, I'm in the middle of cooking my wife some dinner and uh, got some meat on the grill. But other than that, you know. Okay, I mean, you 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 are you able to help me out with something right quick, or you got you got time for that? Well, like I said, I'm in the middle of cooking. If it's something I can help you with, I, I you know I don't mind coming down there and and. Uh, Showing you or doing whatever it is that we need to do. Okay. Charlie, would you happen to have any paper, man? Any paper? Yeah. Um, I, I think I got some newspaper. What you trying no, to no, do? No, 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 no. Not no newspaper. I mean some paper. You got some paper? I, the, what, notebook paper? No. See, man, listen. Charlie, I, like I said, man, my, my name is Scotty, man. I know you don't know me. I done got myself in a little situation here down here at Reader House, man. And I, I, I didn't, man... I'm in a situation, I actually am in the bathroom, man, and it ain't no paper in here, dog. So you saying you want me to bring you some toilet paper? I mean, if you don't mind, dog, I'm sitting here, my legs ain't got none, my, my can't even feel my, my my whole lower body, man, from butt down. I can't feel nothing, man, my feet, everything that went to sleep on me. Uh, hold up, babe, this dude down here at Rita House saying he want me to bring him some because he didn't got none sitting on the toilet. Man, look at here, bro. I'm in the middle of cooking. I wish I could help you, but, you know, well, I, I, mean, I can't you come here. You say you ain't about four hours a day. Can you just run down here right quick? I mean, the back door open. I, I say, man, I understand all that you're saying. But like I said, I'm in the middle of cooking for my wife. We're having a little special occasion because our kids and stuff gone, and I can't just leave her like that just to come bring you no know, Paper. Now, what I can tell you to do is if Rita got one of them towels or something that I'm you like to I'm not going to use no on. towel, man. I'm not using nobody's towel. Like, that's disrespectful, man. Okay. Hey, but lower your voice, man. You calling me to help you, and <laughs> you acting like I caused you to not have no I understand. Paper. You're okay. supposed to have okay. some Charlie, paper Charlie, in the bathroom Charlie, when I got you go that. in there. All I'm asking for, just, it ain't going to take no more than two, three minutes to run down here right quick and bring the paper, man, and then you get on back to your dinner. Well, what you it sound like what you need to do, bro? You said you had an emergency. I thought the house or, uh, or the dog had got out, or, or you had locked yourself out the house. But I'm not gonna come down there and bring you no paper because that don't sound like an emergency. That sound like some personal. And furthermore, you in the bathroom, just jump your out your clothes and get in the shower and wipe your. No, I'm not finna dog. That's like I said, I'm numb right now, man. I need some help if so, you don't so mind. So you want man. me to come down there and bring you some toilet paper, pick your numb. You can't get up out the. If I would help you, please, uh, that's why I'm trying to tell you I'm in an emergency, man. Okay, well, that, like I said, man, that don't sound like an emergency. That seems like a little quick fix. Get your drawers and wipe it with your drawers. Throw them away. Go get you some more. I, I mean, I'm not finna walk four houses down there to bring you some toilet paper. Your legs numb. How how you gonna get up and open the door? The back door is open. All you gotta do is come in here and, and, and reach in here and pass me a roll of paper, man. That's all I'm asking you to do, Mr. Charlie. I understand that, but I'm not finna come down there and bring you no paper. I'm not finna bring you. Man, no bring me some damn paper down here, man. Throw you my body <laughs> numb, man. Say, man, who the hell you think you hollering at? You need me. I don't need you. Well, won't you do something, man? You see, I'm sitting here in a situation. Now, Rita left y'all number that y'all will help me while I'm down here house watching, man. This is crazy, baby. Man, what the f*** 
What's wrong with you? You going to call me asking me to bring you some newspaper. I told you that I was on in the middle of fixing me and my wife some dinner, and you come calling me talking about some paper, man. I don't want to hear no about no and I ain't coming down there to bring you no paper, man. Hello? Charlie, you going to bring this paper, man? Man, look, like I told you before, I ain't going to bring you no paper down there. We don't wipe no on this street. Hey, hold on, man. I can't just, you can't just leave me here and I'm numb like this. But I'm not going to come bring no grown man, no toilet paper, because he irresponsible when he go into the restroom. You too grown for that. You, uh, this is a situation, though. This is an emergency, man. Man, that don't sound like no emergency. That sound like a personal problem that you got going on. Damn, I told I'm you before when I get off of here, man. You done pissed me off. I don't give a about you being pissed off, man. Matter of fact, as soon as you get your up out of there, you so Man, you come on down here. I'm coming. Yeah, that's what you do. I'm coming down there the way I am, just like this here. And I'm going to whoop your for not helping me while I'm in a situation. So we we'll bring your on. I got one more thing I need to say to you that I'm going to do. Is you listening? Bring your on. I got some snakeskin shoes that fit right up in your Clean up all that I got one more thing. Is you listening? Man, what the man? Like I said, what, what the you got to say, man. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your neighbor Rita. Ain't this a <laughs> bang? <laughs> that <laughs> from the radio station. Is this Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a whoop Rita. <laughs> hey, got you calling my <laughs> out. man. You had me. I was gonna come down there, man, and break that <laughs> door down and whoop your. <laughs> you better be glad I'm eating. <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> man, you had me. I was putting on my shoes as I was talking to you. I'm coming down there for real. You talking, me talking about you need me to bring you some <laughs> paper. <laughs> you wait till I talk to Rita. <laughs> she didn't get it. Hey, man, I got to ask you, man, one more thing. What is what is the baddest, I'm talking about the baddest radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Show. Y'all play practical jokes on folks, man. <laughs> Cozy TV. Let's go, cat dog. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach Eduardo. Uh, this is Eduardo. Eduardo, how you doing, man? Uh, I'm one of your neighbors, man. I'm actually like two streets over. Uh, I-, I wanted to see if you could come around here, man, and help me out, man. I got a leak in my roof. Are you able to come around the corner real quick and, and see about fixing my roof? Who? Who's this? Uh, yeah, this is Sammy, man. I live like two streets over from you. you- you're Eduardo, right? Yes, this is Eduardo. Okay, hey, I-, I need you to... I got a leak in my roof, man. I want to see if you can come around here and... And take a look a at my leak roof. in your and roof. How much you, how what, much you what, me to, what does that have to do with me? I, no, no, I, I got a leak in it. I, it. It doesn't have anything to do with you, but I wanted to see if you could come around here and fix it for me. How did you get my number, man? What, I mean, where, where, where do you think uh, I'm? I would fix your roof. I, I got your number from one of the neighbors, but you, 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 um, you, you, you're Hispanic, right? Yeah, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm Hispanic. Well, I'm not from Hispanic. I'm Mexican. If that's what you're asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what I'm saying, American, I mean, Mexican, I mean, American. They, they, I mean, are you this is are you trying to be funny or what? What? What are you talking about? Why do I got to go fix your roof? I mean, what, I mean, what don't, are you talking don't, about? Don't, don't all Mexican people know how to do roofs? You know what, man? Don't talk to me like that. I'm an educated Mexican. I'm your worst nightmare. Who the do you do? Who? Who the do you think you can call me? Because think that all Mexicans fix roofs? And listen here, I'm not a roofer. I work at a bank. Okay. You understand that? No, I, I understand you work at a bank, but from my understanding, all Hispanic people—I mean, what do you, what do you, what do you do at the bank? I mean, you lay, you, do you lay tile at a bank? What do you, what do you do at the bank? Listen, you ignorant! <laughs> I work at a bank. I'm a loan officer. I am a dangerous. I'm a Mexican with good credit. Okay, I'm a dangerous Mexican. You're with the wrong person. Are you that stupid? Huh? What is the matter with you? Who, who gave you my number? Where do you live? You can't be one of my neighbors. I haven't seen a retarded person walking around my neighborhood lately. I'm two streets over from you, man. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, Like I said, I got a, a, a leak in my roof, and somebody gave me your number. I thought all Hispanic people knew how to fix roofs. Oh, really? <laughs> Maybe if I <laughs> go cut your <laughs> grass like a <laughs> if you're going to stereotype us all, <laughs> huh? Would that be cool? <laughs> huh? Why don't you come over to my <laughs> house? I'll tell you what. <laughs> hey, 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 man, you, 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 you taking this. You're taking this the wrong way. I'm trying to give you some work, man. I'm trying to, which, all I really wanted is to see if you could come over here and fix the leak. You know what I'm saying? That's that's really all I wanted to do. And I heard, you know, that most Hispanic people, you know, all of y'all supposed to know how to do root. I mean, are you, are you kidding me, man? You stupid 
I work at a bank. I've got a degree. You didn't hear me. You're one of them ignorant f- that don't listen to anything. I live in a nice neighborhood, man. What do you do? You sell drugs to live in this neighborhood? You piece of f- Look at this. You're making me degrade myself by just talking to you. I don't do tile. I don't do construction. I don't fix roofs. I'm not a mechanic. I don't do yards. Okay? Do you steal? Huh? There's nothing wrong with being a construction worker for laying brick or doing tile or doing roofing. There's nothing wrong with that, man. I got a lot of relatives. I've done those jobs myself, but I educated myself. Now I've got a degree, and I work at a bank as a loan officer. Don't you with me. Don't you ever call me again. Hey, 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 I need English, man. I need English. English. Man, you, man. What, 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 what are you saying, man? What are you saying? Hey, man, don't, don't, don't be upset because I speak two languages and you speak one. Oh, wait, you could probably speak pig Latin or something like that, hey, hey, right? Hey, hey, hey. You, know, you know what, man? I don't, even, I don't even like to talk like this. I work at a bank. I got to deal with customers every day. And I deal with ignorant. I don't even like to say, I deal with ignorant on a daily basis. Like, you, you think I'm playing with you? Huh? Man, I grew up in the West Side. You. you need to you need to watch your tone, okay? Man, f- you. Hey man, let me let me let me ask you this though. Do you know Julio? Do you do do you know Julio? S- yeah, I know Julio. S- that that's my cousin, man. What, what does he have to do with this? Okay, okay. Julio is the one that told me to call you. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show, man. Your cousin just got me to prank phone call you. Nah, man. I nah, dude. Nah, man. That's <laughs> And what? And man. what? Yeah, man. Yeah, I listen to that show, man. Y'all got me. What? <laughs> man. Uh, boy, he, well, I, I was ready to be a real Mexican from the hood, man. Golly. You all right, man? You got me, man. Uh, I was going to go back to being like my cousin. <laughs> Woo, boy. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, man, I got one more thing to ask you, Eduardo. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? Man, Steve Harvey in the morning, man. He got me. <laughs> hey, 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 Tommy, Tommy. Oh, man, before you go, man. What's hey, up? Hey, tell your boy Steve to wear some Stacey Adams with those suits, man. <laughs> hey, the homeboy from the hood would love that, man. He'd be one of the homeboys, man. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach Tammy, please. Uh, this is she. Hey, Tammy, this is uh, uh, Dexter um, over here at Catering. We catered your... Uh, your Aunt Bridget's... Uh, yeah, that's birthday. right. That's right. That's right. How you doing, Dexter? It's good to hear from you. Okay, good, good. I'm uh, going through the uh, paperwork here, and I know we have uh, an invoice for you all. I wanted to reach out to you. This is not a bad time, is it? No, this is a good time. Okay. So, first of all, did everybody enjoy uh, everything that we, we put out for you guys? Yeah, we had a good old time. <laughs> My Auntie Bridget, <laughs> she was so oh. happy. There was no better way to bring in her 60th birthday party. We had a great time. The food was delicious. We are so grateful. So thank you so much. You and your team did a bomb job. Okay, good deal, good deal. I, I, I was here when they loaded up the van and everything, and I wanted to make sure I wanted to follow back up. But listen, I'm looking at the paperwork, and, I'm, and the, we had a little mishap, and I wanted mm-hmm. to let you know that we're not going to um, we're not going to charge you guys for the chicken. Uh, uh, because uh, they they made a mistake and uh, they put the wrong pan on the van, and they uh, I noticed that the chicken was actually still here. So we want to take off, take that off, and I won't that won't be on the uh, on the invoice. So I'm taking all the the entire cost of the chicken will be completely taken out. Okay. Real quick, let's back up a bit because we had a lot of people at the party. We definitely had chicken. We had right. some well, chicken. Yeah, I know you had you ordered some other chicken, but like I said, the guy put the wrong pan on the tr- on the van, you know, and the, actually the smother chicken was actually still here, uh, you know, here here at the uh, at the shop. So, you know, like I said, we made a mistake. I'm gonna take it off, and that that'll probably knock your you knock a couple hundred dollars off of off of you all's price. I hold on, hold on, that. Dexter. So, so what are you saying? So, what were we eating if it wasn't smothered chicken? <laughs> what was it? Uh. Well, Miss Tammy, like I say, the, 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 you know, I got on this kid for making this mistake. I, you know, I got on him real bad about it, but you know, putting the wrong pan on there. But like <sighs> I say, this, what you guys had was what that was a chicken. What was it though? That's what I'm asking you. What was it? That was that, actually what he put on there by mistake, Miss Tammy. 
that that was that was rapid. What? <laughs> you can't be f- serious right now. Are you out of your rabbit f- mind? Are you f- serious? You're calling no, me to no. tell me that your team put the wrong tray on the f- truck and then served it to my family? And you're trying to call me about f- $200? Are you f- serious? F- what? Us more than that? You owe me more than that. You don't know who the f- is allergic to that f- And you're calling me about $200? F- Are you out of your f- mind? Well, I, I, I wanted to credit you all that. You know what I'm saying? No, it ain't, ain't going to be no credit. It ain't going to be no credit. It ain't no credit. What you mean? Credit. Bridget could have died. Monty could have died. Lucia. We got kids in there. You don't know our dietary needs. Are you crazy? Well, I mean, but you say you liked it, though. It don't matter if I liked it. I can fall out tonight. Stupid. Oh, I'm getting okay. the attorney. I'm done with this. This is stupid. And who the want to eat Bugs Bunny? Does that right to you? Huh? Uh, Are you stupid? I'm so annoyed right now. Seriously. We ain't no woods people. We ain't no country people. What's wrong with you? Okay, but 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 y'all liked it though, right? No, but you gonna like my foot up your though. That's what you gonna like. I'm gonna be there later because your is stupid. Your is stupid. My foot gonna be up your and your gonna be hopping around like a rabbit. The rabbit that you served me. Okay, okay. Let me ask you this here now. Ava, Ava, Miss Ava is your mama, right? What the f- my mama got to do with this rabbit? Sh-? What she got to uh, do with this? Sh-? Uh, okay, see, your mama <laughs> got me to call you. This is nephew Thomas from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Baby, <laughs> tell me, tell me, your mama Ava, <laughs> Miss Ava got me to pray for <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry. Oh my god, <laughs> this is crazy. Oh my god, oh so my we god. ate chicken you... in. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Y'all are gonna get it. This is crazy. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> All right, Sammy, tell me this, baby. What is the baddest, yeah. and I mean the baddest, radio show in the lake? <laughs> the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> Cozy, Cozy TV. Thank you. Hello? Right. Uh, I'm trying to reach uh, this place. This is she. How you doing? It's attorney over to and Associates. Uh-huh. All right, want to give you a call. I just got your file that hit my desk, and I, we got a check going out to you on Monday. You came in yesterday, correct? Yes. Okay, listen, we got a few little glitches here we want to go over with. I want to go over with you and make sure uh, we get this all ironed out before you come in on Monday, and, and uh, I'll have a check definitely waiting on you when you get here. All right, you're supposed to be getting $6,410. Okay. Unfortunately, it's being reduced to 1200 Due to uh, injuries not being as uh, as bad as they say it was, a lot of calculations got really mixed up on our paperwork here. And please keep in mind that on the 1200 we still haven't taken out our fee, which is like about 33 and a third. We'll have a check for you on Monday in the ballpark of four to $500. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, I'm still not getting it, so... What was the total amount that y'all got from the law, from the um, from the insurance? Evidently, the person that did these calculations completely did them wrong. And I do apologize for this being a, a mishap on our part, and it's totally screwed up. And I do apologize on the behalf of the uh, of the association here that we've dropped the ball on that. But your actual check has been reduced to twelve hundred dollars, okay? And that's without us taking the law fees out of it. So I I. I, I guess it's- Right, because the how would six thousand dollar cover the doctor bill and the chiropractor? Well, from my understanding, man, what they're also stating is that your injuries are not that bad, and I, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news. They're actually wondering if you were actually hurt at all. So I was actually hurt because I even had to get injections. Okay. From the chiropractor. Okay, and and do you have any? You, I have some medical documents here, and and I understand that you've been going, and you probably it looks like you went over at least uh, at least two months going to the doctor and getting uh, and getting therapy. And and, and, and that I, was his call. That say, was the chiropractor's call. That wasn't my decision. Okay. Well, a that lot. Was of, his call for my for my injury. Exactly, and a lot a lot of these doctor fees and, and that you've gone to has eaten up eaten up a lot of these funds. And uh, I tell you, these doctor bills they get pretty high out there. 
I do want to apologize. What we're going to do here, since we've dropped the ball on this, we're going to give you the check for 1200 and not even take the law fees out of it, and I'll have that check waiting on you on Monday morning. That's still – okay, I understand what you're saying, but what I'm trying to figure out is from the – I need to see some paperwork of saying stating what was the amount, total amount check that was written from the insurance company – Plus, what was the portion that was supposed to be taken out for the chiropractor? Plus, what was the portion that was supposed to be taken out from the doctors itself? But the amount that you're telling me, six thousand, that's not going to wouldn't have covered that and leave me with only twelve hundred. Okay, I'm not at liberty to let you look at this paperwork anymore. Uh, I'm calling you basically to let you know I have a twelve hundred dollar check for you. If you don't want that, then you can go ahead and take some other legal. Uh, I mean, uh, that doesn't sound right. Why would? I mean, for from the entire month, because I got the paperwork from the chiropractor stating what amount was paid. I understand that, ma'am. I'm, I, what I'm trying to let you know, Manisha, is there, there, what's going on right now is the response coming back is that you're not actually hurt at all. That's what they're saying. They're saying you're not hate at all. Actually, I don't want to use the words, but they're saying that you've been faking this the whole time. I need to see some paperwork before I try to, to check it. This doesn't sound right. That doesn't make any sense. Well, uh, right now, you know, I'm the last person that, that, that this file is going to come across. It's coming across my desk. This is pretty much a take it or leave it option, you know. Well, and if you don't leave it option, is, no, 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 no. I mean, you don't have to get an attitude with me because you are my lawyer and I am your client. This well, you're not going to raise your voice. You're not going to raise your voice at me. <laughs> That's not going to happen either. So let's let's pipe it down a bit, okay? Now, here's what we're going to do. Do you want the twelve hundred dollar check or do you not want it? Now I've already wavered the fees of the of the attorneys here. Do you want the twelve hundred or do you want me to reduce it to four hundred? No, I don't want twelve hundred because I'm gonna take you to court. Cause that doesn't sound right for you to me around. You're supposed to be my lawyer. I'm being the best attorney that you probably could afford, young lady. Okay, and I'm trying to do the best I can to help you. Now, you you if if, if from what I understand is I'm sorry, sir. That's not going to be acceptable. I just have to get to get a lawyer to sue you. So that's not acceptable. You know, you know, you She's people been the continue office. to want to. I came in the office yesterday when we came in. How all of us I, work got me. I didn't. I wasn't there doing the meeting yesterday. Like I said, these papers just landed on my desk today. What I'm not going to tolerate is you people consistently wanting to file a lawsuit on somebody. Now you want to file a lawsuit on me. You know, you, it's, you're going way too far with this. This is not sound right. I want to talk to because I've never heard of you. I only heard of okay. Well, now you've heard of me. I'm and I work here as well. And I'm not going to stand you uh, 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 dismantling me the way that you're doing. I just have to get a lawyer to sue you, so that's not acceptable. I got one more thing. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked. You got pranked by your husband. I'm going to kick your Oh, your husband told me. She's been waiting on that check. Yeah, I, I had me hot. I was about to go by that little office tomorrow when I get off of work. <laughs> All right, baby, let me ask you something. Tell Tommy, what is the baddest radio show in the land? Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, baby, look here. Get your check. <laughs> Chopper's funeral <laughs> at the club. Let's go, Ken. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to reach uh, James, James, James. Yeah, yeah. What's up? Hey, this this is uh, Gerald. Uh, I, I was a friend of uh, uh, your, your friend Chopper. Yeah, yeah, huh? And Chopper just uh, passed away last week, right? Yeah, he did. Uh, I know they supposed to have a funeral and stuff over at uh, at Mount Baptist Church. And uh, I, I don't really know you, but me, me and me and Chopper and a bunch of the rest of us, man, we used to hang out at the club not too far from the house. You know, that's pretty much where yeah. Chopper was all the time at the, mm -hmm. at the club. Yeah. Anyway, what bunch of us was over at the club talking, man, and I was, we was really want to reach out to one of the family members, you know, and then somebody said you was, you know, kind of a good friend of his. Mm -hmm. And well, we, 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 we decided to call you and see if you didn't mind. Do, do you think, that you can talk to uh, some of the family members and see if they don't mind having the funeral at the club. At the club. What, what, see what I'm. Let me let me try to explain something to you, uh, Jane. Is 
What we're trying to do is see. We believe well, that we believe. Well, you, you said at the club. Come on, the club. There's a funeral. What? I, and that's what I, and I understand it. But see, see, Chopper, Chopper ain't really go to church a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? He ain't really, really go. As long as I've been knowing him, now he loved the Lord and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, but these are church going folks. They yeah, want a funeral. But I, I understand. But see, Chopper wouldn't. Chopper went. Chopper went to the club. So what I'm asking you is, let's have a funeral at the club. Hell no, bro. Come on, we can't have no d- funeral at no club, man. Come on, no, no. I okay, get, but I but get. what what I'm saying is though is that he wasn't really, he wasn't really no church going person. I believe that a person ought to be, uh, 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 the last words ought to be said over him in a place he's more familiar with. You know what I'm saying? A player. Player, no, I, I don't. I don't know what you mean, player. No, this this got to be a funeral. This 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 is church for. I go to church, and all my folks go to church. No, we we, we got to do this thing up in church. This this is a church thing. But you don't you don't feel. But do you understand where I'm coming from? No, that man ought to gone on, and and the last words ought to be in a place he more familiar with. Now, if he went to church, then I understand that. You see? No, what I'm bro. Hell no, no. See, it's, this is chance. To, to get itself right, we don't we don't have them up in church in, in front of everybody. You know that sh- don't make sense. Who is this again? I mean, who are you? My, my name's Gerald. But, but who is Gerald? I mean, how do you, how do you relate to this? Are, are you a preacher? Or are you? No, you, no. Where, where no, are you? No, 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 no. I'm I'm I was friends with Chopper, and see, I hung out at the club and still hang out there with um a whole bunch of you know was real good friends with Chopper, and we were saying that you know. Yeah. Chopper's the last words about Chopper are to be said at the club because see that's what Chopper was. But five six days a week, that's what Chopper was. Yeah, but what church are you affiliated with? I mean, what? what why the hell would I, I I I try to talk to the family, make me look stupid in front of the family, telling them to put the thing in a club? How the f- that gonna go off? Well, well, see, see, that's what I'm saying. You know them way more than we do because yeah, see, but they you talking about trying to move from a damn funeral at a church to a damn nightclub or a strip club or something. No, not no strip club, just a nightclub. Well, you... It's the same thing, ain't it? I mean, you talking about having folks travel from across the country and meeting in the damn club. What kind of is that? But that's and what Chopper how... was. That's what Chopper was. How the f- I'm going to look if I'm the one telling them to move this to the damn club. You're going to look like somebody that's trying to... I'm going to look like a... F- Food. No, you're not. You're gonna look like somebody that's trying to keep it real. I can't even come to the damn funeral if I was to do some like that. Okay, okay. Let me ask you this here. Then. Let me ask you this here, uh, Jane. Do you think? Do you think you can uh, maybe get the body and bring it over to the club? No, hell no. Well, I'm just saying before they even do the funeral or whatever. Oh you... hell no! I ain't touching. I'm scared to walk in the dog by myself. What the I'm gonna touch the body for? Hell no. We just trying to say our last words at Chopper Man in a place that Chopper well, most. No, hell, again, who the f- are you? How the f- you get my number? They, the, somebody at the club had your number. Said you was friends. But why the f- y'all call me of all folk? Because why the f- y'all call me? They say you good. You in with the family? You can I talk. I am in with the family, but I ain't in in the family. Make, make me look stupid. Hell no. Won't y'all? I give y'all the number to the family. Y'all call the family. Y'all tell them that. Yourself. Man, I want. I just want, trying to get you to bring the body by, man, and let us. No, I ain't touching no dead body. We just want to have one last drink with Chopper, well, man. You have one with your boys, and you you, you get together with them, and, and y'all talk about about him, and, 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 and let him know how Chopper was, what kind of person he was, what kind of person he. But is we now. need to. We want Chopper to be there. This Chopper. This is Chopper you talking about, man. Y'all this... bring y'all to the church. Y'all need to be up in the church. We want to have Chopper at the club where we man, know. Come on, man, y'all full of. Well, we y'all know. Ain't gonna my up and have my looking like a fool at a damn funeral. But, but that's about Chopper though. And damn right it's about Chopper. You bring Chopper to that club. Y'all tripping, man? I ain't doing. I'm just going to this funeral. I'm gonna tell the family what I think about Chopper, and I'm moving on. If y'all want to act crazy in front of the family, y'all call the family y'all seven do that. Look, I got one more thing I want to say. I don't even know your what, what, what? This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your boy. Oh, <laughs> you tripping. <laughs> what?
This nephew Tommy, man, from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your boy d told me to prank you. Man, y'all <laughs> full of <laughs> man. I just know y'all ain't did this. James, this is nephew Tommy, man. No, Your boy. No, 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 player. Uh -oh. oh, man. I can't believe this. No, he didn't. I can't even believe he did that. Hey, man, uh -oh. I got one more thing to ask you, man. Oh, what man. is? What is the baddest radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Moaning Show. <laughs> Cozy, Cozy TV. Can I have your kidney? Daddy, oh, if you're listening, man, this one for you, baby. Yeah. Hello. Uh, hello, I'm trying to reach uh, Brother Conley. This is Conley. Uh, how you doing, brother? This is Deacon Patterson calling from the church. How you doing today? Uh, Deacon Patterson? Yeah. Just doing fine. And yourself, sir? I'm doing good. Doing good. You know, the church is behind you on what you're going through, and we... We praying for you, man. We know all about the, you know, you going uh, in the surgery on Friday to get your to get your pancreas removed. So I wanted to give you a call, man. Have a word of prayer and let you know that we all are, are pulling for you, and we know that that the man upstairs is going to pull you through this success. Well, God bless and keep you, uh, there, Deacon. God bless and keep you, because I tell you, I'm going through something here. Me and my wife, we've been talking about it, and uh, we've been praying on it, and it sure is a wonderful thing to to know that your church is with you. And, Y'all thinking about me in prayer? I've, I've, I've really had to take this, this to the Lord. I, this is a serious thing with me, and uh, I ain't never had an operation before in my life, and right, I right. know I need it. My wife have made it clear, the doctor have made it clear, and I believe I'm ready to go forward, Deacon. And we're Thank gonna you. give the victory to who the victory, the victory is. Victory to the Lord, yes, sir. He's, he's uh, the victory. He's yeah, the victory. Yeah, let, me, let me, let me, let me have a word of prayer with you, brother Conley, if you don't mind. Uh, just bow your head for me. Father God, we ask right now. We yes, ask sir. right now that you touch Brother Conley as he goes in on Friday. Please, Lord. Put your hands on him. We ask, Father, that you hold on to the doctor that's getting ready to go and put surgery on him. Yes. We ask that you make sure that the doctor has got a, a strong eye hmm. on that morning. Walk with him. We ask that, that, that he got a steady hand when he got the scalpel in his hand. We ask that you hold on to him, please, as yes. he goes into a surgery, because we know come Saturday morning, yes. <laughs> the victory going to belong to Brother Conley and the Lord. Thank you, Lord. We know yes. all of this, but we, we, we ask that you take that pancreas and you remove it out successfully, please. close him back up like it was never been entered in before. Walk with me, Jesus. That's what we ask, and we ask you, Lord, at the same time, Yes. That they're removing this pancreas, Lord. We ask that you reach around his backside. And we ask that you touch his kidney, Lord. Touch his kidney and make it whole. Make it 110%. We want you to make that, that kidney like it's been the best kidney Excuse ever me, known. Deacon. Deacon. That's Deacon. Deacon. Who? Pat Deacon Patterson. Yes. Yes, uh, yes sir. I ain't, they, no, sir. There, there's nothing wrong with my kidney, Deacon. I'm doing, I'm doing fine. The Lord has is, Lord is been made it. Well, he's going to work on my pancreas. That's what the doctor's operating on. They done oh, prepped oh. me for it, and that's what they plan to remove. So uh, really? they, my kidney is fine. They did what they called one of them MRIs, and everything else is fine. They ain't working on nothing but my pancreas, sir. Right, right, right. Well, well let, 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 me, let me say, I'm glad you brought that up, because this, 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 this wasn't the reason why I called you. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, of course, I did call to pray for you. Yes, sir. Yeah, you know, because I want to make sure that, 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 that you make it through this successfully. But one another, another reason why I get around to this here is... Uh, uh, what I want to ask you, and I know we, we, you know, we've never met face to face. I've seen you a couple of times, like I said, at the church, but you've been out most time uh, with, your, with your sickness and, and whatnot. But now, mm -hmm. what, what what I was going to ask you was, yeah, is, is, and, and I know this is, I hate to come at you in the final hour when you're getting ready to go have surgery and all that, but if, if you don't mind, if if you could see it in your heart to to, to see to do something for somebody else, yes, sir. Uh, that's that's the Lord's will. You always supposed to help those who can't right, help right. Do but, it. And I'm glad you you think like that. Mm -hmm. Now, when they go in on Friday morning and and remove that pancreas out, do do you think that 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 they could go in and and get one of your kidneys? Cause I need one. Hold hold on just a minute, Deacon. I, what yeah. you say? What, what you say? See, 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 see. What else? See, I've been going through myself with a, a little ailment, and 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 I'm wondering if, if if I need a kidney, and I'm wondering if you can give me one of yours when they go in to get your pancreas. They gonna already have you open. 
Did you say you wanted them to take one of my kidneys? Yeah, and give it to me because I need one. You need a kidney? Yeah. But what, what, what? I mean, you already going to be laying there open. Wait a minute, mister. You need a kidney? I need help with my pancreas. You going to call me with some <laughs> like that, man? This ain't no work of the Lord. Now, you say, are you a deacon? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah no, no, like I said, Deacon Patterson, my name. But see, what I'm asking you is, what, no, what you harm asking is it? me, man. Bro Brother Conley, what harm is it if you already open and laying on the table? Oh, you ain't heard a damn thing I said, have you? I said, I'll be, man, you crazy as hell. Now, what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to need to call the pastor. Because, see, it's a going on here. You say you knew? You man a damn new, mister. Matter of fact, you too damn new to know who you're talking to. What, what, what I'm saying is, you have two, ki two like you said, you say they did the MRI. And you're I don't that. give a f what I said they did, man. I got two kidneys, you got two. One of yours is bad, that's your f problem, mister. Let me tell you something. I'm trying to get well, and you calling with this f You say you a new deacon. You damn sure is, and you won't be at that church long. I tell you that, because if I ever get close to your mister, we got some reckoning to do. What is it going to hurt for you to give me one of them kidneys if both them, if both them kidneys is good? It ain't going to hurt them thing because you ain't getting my kidney, man. It ain't going to hurt what, what is wrong with you? Say, man, all I'm saying is if you're going to be open and laying on the table, what is it going to hurt for I you to give me one? Oh, now you're going to tell me I'm open and laying on the damn table. What kind of a prayer are you in charge of, mister? Let me tell you something. Obviously, I need to meet you before I get to the hospital. And maybe I can help take out that damn bad kidney of yours. I can tell you that. We it out. You won't feel a damn thing. How about that? I'll be damned if you're going to call and talk me out of one of my damn kidneys, man. I'm trying to live just like you trying to. Let the Lord take care of me because what you're talking about ain't got a damn thing to do with Jesus. You can kiss my and get off my phone. That's what you can do. Can I say one more thing to you? What? Is you listening to me? Man, I don't listen to you and you ain't talking about nothing. That's got nothing to do with what's going on with me, mister. You running a game? If I could get to you, I'd put lead in your say, you I, But me? can I just say one more thing, and then I'm going to let you go. Is you listening? For what? This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your daughter. Oh, Lord have mercy. That girl. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Jesus. <laughs> hey, you all right? Brother Conley. Man, man, you done made me use language that I swear I don't know, but I heard my neighbors them using that. I done stopped a long time ago talking man. that way. Please forgive me. Lord <laughs> have mercy. Woo. Y'all, I'm going to have to. Lord have mercy. My heart is palpating here. Lord have mercy, Jesus. <laughs> Mister, this ain't me. This ain't me. And you, I tell you what, and I, I, I enjoy Steve Harvey and nephew Tommy. I Child support help. Let's go, cat dog. Hello? Hello, my sweet. To Darius? This is me? Who is this? Hey, Darius, my, my name is Lewis, man. Lewis, I work at Tech up there with you. Uh, we met when you first, your first week at the job we met, man. My name is Lewis. I work on the third floor. Uh, you, you'll know me when you see me. You say, say Lewis? Uh, yeah, Lewis. No, I don't remember no Lewis, man. You know, I, I, I met a lot of people on that, you know, that first day, the first week. You know, I'm just really getting acclimatized to the, to the whole situation, bro. I don't, I, I, I kind of remember what, it's all good. It's all good. Don't even worry about it, man. Okay. Let me answer this here, though. Uh, how long have okay. you been with us now, man? Uh, man, about a strong month, man. I'm really enjoying it, man. Just really getting the swing and getting the hang of everything. So, man, I'm just really enjoying it. It's a great company, man. I'm just happy to be a part of something bigger than myself. You know what I mean? I, I so, yeah, man. Hey, well, you know what, man? We got to get you out, man, because, you know, all the brothers, man, we get together and hang out on certain nights. You know, we like, okay. you know, once a month, we might we might get out on the Thursday, man. So you got you to come hang out with us, man. We got to get you out. Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I love hey, it, listen, man. I'm, I'm listen, just trying to make new friends, you know, however I, I can do it. For, for sure, man. But I, I, I call you, though. I call you, though, Darius, because I'm, I'm in a little bit of a jam, though, man. And I, I, okay. I was trying to get somebody to help me out, man. And by you being a, a you know, just came into the company, man, you know, it might be something you can actually help me out with, man. I just, you know, I, I hate to come in and, and lean on the friendship before we even get started and hang out yet. But I, I just I just need a little bit of help, man. I'm just hoping maybe you'd be open to maybe helping me out or something. I'm always willing to help a brother out, bro. It just it depends on what you talk about. You know what I'm saying? But okay, check this out, man. I ain't really want to tell nobody at the job. You know, uh, I, don't, I ain't really trying to let nobody know my business or whatever. But but here's the deal, man. Dude, I done got myself in, in a serious jam, man. I got I got a baby on the way, man. And huh? and uh, I got that's I got a great baby thing, on the man. That's, that's great, man. That's a great thing. No, 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 no. 
Listen, man. Listen. Just hear me out, though, Derek. I got I got a baby on the way, but this ain't uh-huh. this ain't this ain't this ain't my this ain't from my wife, man. You see what oh. I'm saying? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. So I'm in a dog, and the baby do like in the next, you know, six weeks. The baby probably gonna be here. But but, but check this out. Oh, you come man. Here, but check this out. Here, here's what I was trying to get. See if you could do for me, man. Is it okay. any way? You because I know you just now. You probably you probably you probably ain't even got your second check yet. You know what I'm saying? No, so, no, nah, man. Wait a minute. Go. So it, wait a minute. But but is there any way, man, that you might maybe like claim this baby for me on your on on your uh uh, uh you know where they take the child support out of your out of your check? If they take the child support out of your check, wait, wait, but I hook, wait, wait. But, but no, listen, listen to me though. They take the child support out of your check, but I'm gonna give it back to you. I'm gonna give it back to you. I just don't want my wife to find out. You see what I'm saying? Man, what? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, man. You mean? It's, I mean, you asking me about money out my out my check? I'm not, but I'm gonna give it back to you every two weeks when you get your check. I'm gonna, oh, be, I'm gonna give. Man. Man, no. you, man, you got to be out your damn mind, man. I don't even mother know you, man. What the? Man, man, I got, okay, man, I got a wife and kids of my own. You out your man? Take no, 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 listen, listen, man. Work on it? But Darren, man, listen to me, like man. A damn fool, man. Human re- Who you got a human resource to go take some money out my mother check? I wish somebody would take some money out my mother No, I got a friend in human man, resources. You got your damn mind, man. Money on my check for some shit you did. Man, I got my own kids to take care of. There's money coming out of my own damn check. For my own kids. You tell me what's wrong with you, man. You have to get my damn number anyway, man. Oh, no, no, I got your number from one of the, one of the guys at the job, man. One of the, one of the one guys, man. I don't know. Man, what guys, man? Are you on the phone talking this shit, man? Talking about we got to hang out, man. We got to hang out. Man, I'm talking about some bullshit, man. Man, I'm talking about some bullshit. You can hit me with this bullshit you're talking about now, man. Man, I'm talking about some bullshit. Man, I'm talking about some bullshit. You can hit me with this bullshit you're talking about now, man. Hey, I bet you this. I bet you might not a, a red mother. Better come out of my damn check, man. Are we gonna have some? Pro- hey, who, uh, what's, what's your name again? Who are you? My name, my name, Lewis. Lewis who? Lewis who? My name, Lewis. Lewis. I don't know no Lewis. Lewis man, you no know Lewis. That's where I work at, man. Who no, man? we we met we met the first couple of days you got there, man. Hey, like man, I said, man I'm a Lewis, man. Who okay, is this so no, 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 around, about taking what? money out my check, man? And no, all I'm saying, dog, I'm gonna give you the money back. No, all I'm just saying is, all I'm saying is, dog, I better not touch my money. I'm telling you that right now. Are we gonna okay, have to? Okay. Hey, Lou, 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 how you spell it? Lewis, man, L O U L O U I S, dog. I'm gonna, hey, hey, let me tell you something. I bet not see no Lewis in the morning. I bet you that. I bet you, I bet not see no Lewis in the morning. And who okay, else no, got a human resource plan to play with my b- money? Y'all crazy, man. Trying to have my wife kill me? No, no, I'm, just, no, no but I'm, I'm trying to get. B- I'm just trying to get you to look out for me, man. I don't want my wife to find this stuff out, dog. That's all I'm trying man, to get you to look out. Who gonna look out for me, man? Who gonna look out for me and my kids, man? Take your money out my b- check. No, no, just, just, just. Can you at least maybe take 24 hours just think about it? Man, it ain't nothing to b- think about, man. When it comes to my money, man. Your f- damn man. Hey, I'm gonna tell you what. I, I tell you what, Louis. You, you gonna be there tomorrow morning? Yeah, I'm not. I'm 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 not tomorrow. But I mean, what, okay. Me? You about to have these white folks see me perform? You gonna have them see some? Sh- I guarantee you, these white folks. I'm gonna be on the f- damn news. About y'all playing with my f- damn money. So, hey, you gonna have me show my? F- and I ain't been on the job that long. But I tell you what. I tell you what. I'm gonna lose that mother. F- somebody playing with my money. I guarantee you that. I guarantee okay. you, I'll... But, 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 hey, let me ask you this, man. Do you think Dwayne would have done this for me? Do you think the, your, your cousin Dwayne, do you think he would have, you Wait. think he would have cut for me? What, my cousin? What, 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 what the f*** my cousin got to do with this, dog? What? Man, what? let me tell you what your cousin, let me tell you what Dwayne got to do with this. Dwayne what? is the one that put me up to call you. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your cousin Dwayne. Man, <laughs> uh, what? Wait, who, who you say this? Wait, who is this? This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your cousin uh, Dwayne got me to prank phone call you, brother. I mean, 
Funny man. Hey man. <laughs> Too <laughs> damn early, man. We call my money get saved, man. <laughs> You know, I ain't, I ain't got my second check yet, but y'all ain't trying to get money out of the <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Cozy, Cozy TV. Cozy.